Hello, I am super excited because we're going to start a project that I have been dreaming of for a long time. We're going to do a bed nook in my son's room. So we're building his bed into the wall, giving him some really good under bed storage, behind the headboard storage, and just making it a fixture in the room. It's going to be difficult. I'm not sure if this is going to be a one part or two part video. I'm thinking this will be two parts. So we'll do like the frame this week and next week we'll totally finish it up but it's gonna look so cool. He has a huge room, so he really needs to ground the space. So we did the bookcase, which looks really nice, but now it's bed nook time. First thing we gotta do for this project, put the bed together. So although we're building the bed in, I thought it would be nice to start with an already built bed to make it a little bit more simple. This will be an Ikea hack. This is the Song Sand bed. And as you can see, under the bottom of the bed, there's lots of space so we can add drawers later. Here is how the room looks with the bed built. We have an old headboard from an old project that we're gonna reuse, that's the blue tufted one. And honestly, it doesn't look great yet, but we're gonna add some two by fours in and we're gonna make some magic. We built the drawers to go under the bed, put those in, put the bed where it needed to go, did all of our measurements, all of our planning, and then we went to the store and picked up the supplies we needed. So the baseboards in this room are original to our 1905 house and not a lot is, so we would like to preserve those. Usually with a bed like this, you would cut them out, remove them, and it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but because this is an old house, I'm gonna just leave them. So my husband is taking his table saw and cutting out the two by fours to go around the trim. And then he is building the walls of the top section. So at the top of the headboard, we're going to have an area um, where it pushes the bed back from the dresser so that we can open the drawers on the bed, open the drawers on the dresser, and this little wall is the first thing that we need for that section. We repeated a similar build for the other side of the headboard wall, except for this one's taller to accommodate the angle of the ceiling. And then we built the bottom of that, and it's gonna go down about 12 inches because that's how deep my son can reach, so that will be open storage. First thing we're doing today is we're cutting two by fours, and this is so we can make the top of the storage bin we're making. This is what's going behind the headboard. We're also cutting a support beam, and this will go at the base of the headboard storage piece, and it'll connect that to the bed. So, and it also makes the whole thing really sturdy. Next, we're using a table saw to cut the plywood facing. And we're putting the first piece we cut into the bottom. So this is the bottom of the storage in the head, behind the headboard, and that's so that things don't go all the way to the ground and we can reach what we put in there. Next, we're gonna use screws to actually attach the frame to the wall. So before it was just kind of sitting there and it was actually pretty sturdy, but now the screws go from the two by fours into the wall and it's built in, which is a very exciting step. And now that the frame is all in, we just need to continue with the plywood facing. This is going to go on the inside. So when you're in the bed, it looks nice and finished and on the outside. And I will later paint this, but it already makes it look so much more finished. It is day four of working on the bed nook in Don's room, and it's going pretty good, but we put the bed back in place and it didn't, like it was sticking out from the side. And the whole point of a bed nook or an alcove bed is that you have a recessed place and the bed is inside that, not kind of hanging off the edge. And I was so upset. Um, so this morning we had to do leg surgery. So my husband cut off a bunch of the legs because this Ikea bed, the way it's shaped is it has like a little bit hanging off the sides. Plus we didn't take out our baseboard, so we had to cut out a lot. So he did that and you're probably thinking it doesn't look very sturdy and no, it doesn't. But once he secured it to the wall with all the screws, it's like the baseboards and all of that support we built is holding the bed up in addition to the bit of the leg that is left over. So after that, we put up a light over the headboard and this is so when you're reading and like the curtains are closed, you can have this like cozy atmosphere. Ours is a plug-in light. You could also hardwire it or you can get those like rechargeable battery lights, but I just like that we can, we can plug ours in. Next at the footboard, we put an, a beam from the floor to the ceiling and attached it to the footboard. And then my husband made, made another ladder out of two by fours and connected that from the headboard support to the beam that we just put in. And then all of that was attached to the ceiling 
with screws. So that is as far as we got today. We're gonna to work on this tomorrow and all next week and hopefully have a reveal for you so you can see the finished bed. I think it's starting to look really good and you can start to see the vision of the bed look. Um, but paint and trim, it's gonna, it's gonna add some good details. So make sure to check back next week. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed.